Hey guys, what's up? It's BCTV. I'm Bianca. And I'm Choma. Today we are going to review the very first episode of season 14 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. So uh, let's just get straight into it. So the episode starts with Kenya rehearsing for Dancing with the Stars with her partner, who looks pretty young. He he looks like he's like 26 or 27. And she was flirting hard. She was so like, I don't think, has Kenya ever met a man she didn't like? Because she literally flirts with anybody. Anybody that's like not ugly. She gonna she flirt. Like, <laughs> she couldn't even help it. She was just grinning. But um, it did look like they were doing a really good job in their rehearsal. I'll give them that. Um, From what I hear, she actually did pretty well during the season. Like she did a good job. Yeah, I heard that she did a pretty good job. Um, and <laughs> she had a part where she told her partner when they finished, she was like, oh, don't look at my feet because they're ashy. And then they played that uh, ashy clip from when Portia caught her. My ashy. I was like. She, she's too damn old to be going over her feet still ashy. Yeah, like, like, come on, why, you, why do you keep going to recordings with your feet ashy? I'm like, girl, if you don't keep some damn Bath and Body Works lotion in your purse. Um, but she, she looks great. She lost, you know, the weight that she had gained from the pandemic a couple <laughs> seasons ago. But she still lost that yeah her kenya is a beautiful woman or her i guess she got her booty done like a long time ago it looks a mess she needs to like really think about getting some reconstructive surgery because it's not what's up yeah i don't know i think because mm, i think she was already gonna have a, a nice shape regardless mm. and then i don't know i think she did the shots that's what it looks like the uh butt shots but um godspeed but yeah so <laughs> marlo comes to visit her she pays homage to her uh one of her looks that she did on dancing with the stars um marlo looks good i'll give her that yeah minus the wig because she wore the wig to pay like mm -hmm. but i was just like at first I at first i was like what kind of wig is this <laughs> i was like okay but yeah uh so they're basically talking up catching up a little bit marlo kind of gives I think Can Candy comes in too. Candy yeah, it's Candy in. and Marlo. Yeah, Candy came in. They're all catching up. Um, Marlo kind of calls out like, oh, okay, I see your little dance partner. And she's just like, oh, well, he is kind of cute. Like, maybe I'll have me a, a little good texture hair baby. Which I was like, okay, I'm going to let that slide because of your age. But um, she then... Uh, Mar Kenya's like, oh, okay, well, you know, speaking of hair, like, how are your edges growing? <laughs> I'm sorry. That, I mean, I get such a, how are your edges doing? Yeah, I thought she was trying to be funny, funny at, at first. first. But then I realized that she did get, like, edge implant surgery or what, a hair, hair transplant, hair transplant yeah. surgery. Yeah, she tells us she went to the same doctor Drew did. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, or maybe I forgot that Drew got hair transplant surgery. I don't think I ever knew that, actually. And this is the part that killed me because they show her getting the actual surgery when they shave the hair out so they can get the hair follicles and put in here, which I am sure her edges are grown in. But why did you have a wig on in your confessional and have Same, the camera Marlo, my in? edges, my edges are growing back. Like, sister, those are not your edges. Like, Marlo, that's a wig and you know we're going to know it's a wig. So why y'all even do that? <laughs> like, anywho, um... So, yeah, so they get to the couch, they're talking. Marlo tells them that she's in some sort of situationship, I guess. Who um, even, honest, who even knows what's true with Marlo? <laughs> like, her life, to me, even though she's been on the show for how many years, it's always a slight It's still mystery. a mystery. Like, <laughs> same, I feel the same way. Um, she tells them about uh, Lay Archive, and Candy's pretty much like, yeah, you know. Okay, that's good because where I'm you still not show, sure where you, where you, you get do. your money from. Like, and I have been wondering that season after season. I'm like, besides having sugar daddies, like, I mean, I guess that was her main source of. Uh, yeah, and if you're dating people like billionaires, then yeah, that can be your. If you're yeah, if you're dating up there, up there, then I guess that is your main source of income. I do want to know how she even got in the space to, to be in the. With mil with million and billion from mugshots to billionaires, like that's a that's an impressive story. I'm not even gonna lie. Cause they didn't have like seeking arrangements and stuff back then. No, so, so I, like who I, put her in touch with? Shit, we need. That's the same way you would uh, ask Anna. Oh, she's oh, R.I.P. 
Cause remember Anna Nicole Smith? Her husband was like ninety something too. Yeah, but wasn't she kind of like in Playboy already? Was she already in Play? Oh, by the time okay. she was with him. Well, I don't know how she got to Playboy though. But yeah. Um. Anyway, Sheree shows up late per usual. She's been doing this since season one, honestly. Um. That's how. I don't know if anyone remembers from either season one or two. Somebody. Oh, it was Lisa Wu. I think had a fashion show, and Sheree pretty much showed up after the fashion show and had the nerve to get annoyed with Lisa for being annoyed with her for being late to the fashion show. But, I don't even understand what do Sheree be doing when she late because she don't. I mean, Sheree's a beautiful woman, but she doesn't come out looking like yeah, she any, comes out looking like very regular. regular so I just be like, what took you so long, sister? She just be moving slow. Um, like how long it took to build that house. Slow. It's very slow. But I mean, it does look nice. I, Our house is... We, now we just got to wait for Sheba to break. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. let's... We'll be waiting it's for... It's been 84 minute. years. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway... Uh, let us know, first off, what you guys think about Sheree coming back to the show. Because uh, Choma and I were talking about that. Like, it just seems like she always comes back. And gives nothing. Every few seasons and does the same stuff. Just forcing being messy yeah and because she's Sheree's boring to me like she's very boring to me so i don't really know like what makes them keep bringing her back every few seasons but child get your check i guess <sighs> yeah so uh she then updates that so kenya just gets straight to it like you know how's tyrone how's the sex you know is he out i'm gonna let you hit the tyrone she, thing she said First of all, she said her and Tyrone are abstinent. Yeah. Which is weird because you've already had sex. Yeah, ma'am, you're celibate. And, I get what you were saying. But then you're also an older woman and he's been in jail for how many years? I would think y'all would want to like have sex and y'all, you don't have any talks about getting remarried. So what are you waiting on? Like, yeah, I don't understand about the wait. explanation I, I, was weird to me because... You're saying you want to make sure he's the same person. Why'd you pick someone in jail? jail that you'd have to vet them after they got out? Like, you've already spent how many how well, long talking to them while they're in jail. Now it's going to be longer. Like, for me, I think Sheree is full of it. And I think this is just a fake-ass relationship. And she just needs a storyline. Because this doesn't even make sense. It does. I feel like, remember a few seasons ago when she did it, her kids were even like... Like, you talking to somebody in jail? Like, at your big age. Girl... Sheree is ridiculous. Mm. Honestly, she's just ridiculous. And like we said, she's boring. So I feel like she's just trying to hold on to this Tyrone storyline because she ain't had nothing else. To she ain't got nothing up because either. her house is built now. She shouldn't even talk about she Sheree if she was smart. Like let's just let, let that, that die. Go. But yeah, Tyrone is really her only storyline. And like and like B said, being the bone carrier, which is played out when you're sixty. So yeah, it's yeah. I'm, it's just like all right, girl. Um, side note, Sheree looks really good. Uh, her face always looks good. I could tell she probably might have gotten a little bit of filler to make her cheeks a bit full, but it doesn't look crazy. It doesn't. If she says she didn't and you hadn't seen her before, I believe if her. If you see her back when she first started showing now, she looks damn good. Like, it looks like she hasn't really aged much at all. She really has not changed. Um, and her hair always looks nice, too. Mm -hmm. It's always laid. Uh, so, yeah, she ends up saying in her confessional she feels like Kenya has like gotten a, like better ever since giving birth to Brooklyn, which mm, I can see it in some areas, um, but she'll never stop being shady. But I guess they're getting along for now. Now, we know that will not last long. Especially based on that, uh, some of the trailer I saw. Yeah, that, like, that's what I was saying about this. So it seemed like everybody, minus the end, it seemed like everybody, was, it was like fun shade. Everybody was getting along. Yeah, for the this was a good first episode. Yeah, because I, I honestly wasn't expecting too much from this first episode, but it was actually surprisingly pretty good. Yes. Um, I forget who. Somebody asked Kenya about Mark Daly, and... She's still, still not divorced. <laughs> he won't sign the papers. Like, but that she, should be illegal. Okay, yes, blah, blah, blah. But why are you going on family vacations with him? Well, that's what I had wanted to know because she said that she they went on a family vacation in like June or July, and I'm guessing that's obviously of 2021. So I want to know when this was taped. Was this taped like towards the end of the year? I don't think so. Was it taped right after the family? I vacation? think so. 
When it comes to Mark, I don't put anything past Kid because she wanted that thing to work so bad. I feel like if he today, if he was like, Kid, let's be a family, she'd be like, okay. She would be silly to, to say that. And she has been silly the last two, three seasons with him, so. She has been. I sure, wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, like at this point, love yourself. Like, <laughs> love your, that would yeah, be really please. stupid or, or more stupid. Um, she did seem like she was over it a bit in, when she was talking about it because she was just like, oh, he won't sign the papers. Like, I've, I've already done everything on my end. I, I, I think ideally what she would like at this point is for them to just get along for the sake of Brooklyn. I would hope that she has let go of the idea of a family, but I, I don't think she wants to be his enemy. But he seemed like one of those people that's like, okay, either you with me. Or yeah, we're, we're not together, together, then we're just going to be enemies. But you kind of can't be like that when you have a kid together. Exactly. Like, that um, doesn't work well. Best of luck to them, especially for the sake of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, she's so cute. Super cute. Um, I had to do a side note for Marlo, too. I love, love, love her uh, pink confessional look. It was giving, like, legally blonde. I liked her wig. Everything about that looks look really good. Um, then we get into her personal life with her nephews. Um, what is she a mom? A mom aunt? A monty? A monty? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, they pretty much talk about how she went from I think she was just supposed to have them for a weekend, and they turned into how many years? I think she said it's been like three. Three now. years, which I love to see that aspect because you know usually you only see Marlo talking about how much money she has and being not so nice mm -hmm. so it's really good to see her like being a mom figure to these boys like it makes her look more human to me it definitely brings out a more human aspect to me when she had first mentioned it a couple of seasons ago i was like finally like i can see a side of you that i don't hate <laughs> or not that i hated her but you know i can relate to you a little more yeah like seeing her get up and get the kids ready make breakfast i was like wow she is a human <laughs> yeah her nephews are so adorable they too. are i mean she was like you know she doesn't want them to forget where she came from i'm like that should be at least your ways right now they've had a hard life man it seems they deserve all the good things they can get now because i do hope that she opens up a little bit more about her sister's situation i kind of want to know what she's in jail for when she might be coming out and she's she they said she was like schizophrenic too right like she had, i thought so yeah she, she, she had like a, a mental disorder mental. she doesn't take her medicine so then she, it causes her to get in legal issues so yeah that's I, really sad actually i hope her sister's doing you know i hope she can one day get herself together get, yeah i mean maybe not for the kids because i mean it seems like they're getting older and Marlo's doing a good job with them, but at least for herself and then kind of make amends with your adult kids. Yeah. And also thank, you, just, thank your sister, thank <laughs> your sister for sure. And this is unrelated, but like, I just be hating how everybody criminalizes like mental health issues. Like if that's truly what she's suffering for from, she does not really need to be in jail. She needs to, she needs help. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> Um, the next scene, Sanya and Drew. I don't know if it's Sanya or Sonya. I always say Sonya, but they say Sanya. Well, I'm going to have to listen to her say her own name a couple more times. She says Sanya? Or so Sonya? Or you I mean everybody else? Remember, I, I think everybody else be saying Sanya, but I, because I used to watch her show and I swore her name was Sonya. Okay, I thought it was Sonya. But I don't know. But I next, like, next review, we're going to have it down pat. Yeah. We're we going to pay attention to what she says. Because we're big on trying to get people's names right. Um, unless we're joking around, like, you know how we call the, uh, Kenneth Thief. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna call her Sonya for right now, and then by next episode, we'll have it down. But, yeah, Sonya meets Drew mm -hmm. at the gym. First of all, so Sonya's like a four-time gold medalist. Mm -hmm. She's like the fastest woman to do the 400. Mm -hmm. Maybe I never did sports, so that is not my ministry. So, her and Drew try to do a race, which I'm not even sure sure why she did that. I feel like Sonya was running her slowest and still like Sonya was just taking a light jog <laughs> meanwhile Drew was Drew was fighting for her, her life. life first of all <laughs> Sonya was like confused because before they even start working out Drew was like yeah you know 
um, I got approached to be the face of this weight loss company, which is no, it's not a problem because you don't got to be skinny. You could be going through your journey. journey yeah. And I think Drew has lost a lot of weight. Yeah. So she says that and she's like, yeah, you know, I've been doing this program. We call it drop it like Drew, drop it with Drew, drop it with or Drew, whatever. Corey. So you should be in some kind of shape in terms of like if you're working out as much as you say you are. Yeah. And she, what did she say? She had lost all twenty five pounds from doing dropping with Drew in three in, weeks. In three weeks. But like, if you did that, that means your endurance in the gym should be. Nobody loses twenty five pounds in twenty one days unless they're either not eating, like depressed or something, or on some medication that is suppressing their appetite, or drugs. <laughs> like no. Like, no, you body. gotta be superhuman working out every day to be losing weight. That's like, well, that's more than a pound a day. That's like that's a like, pound and a one point something. It's not fully two pounds. Probably like almost two pounds a day. Yeah, that's crazy. And she's a liar. And that's Drew's problem. She she's lies a lot. Lying. <laughs> Over the stupidest thing. And she's not a good liar either. That's the problem. Her lies like, literally never make sense. They never make sense. She be having that. I hope they don't know I'm lying. Look, like girl, <laughs> she looks guilty when she's lying. But I will say. All this negative stuff I have to say about Drew. She's a very beautiful woman. She's very Drew pretty. Is very pretty. Um, and her wigs have really um, stepped improved. up from last season. You can tell she got her money up a little bit. But and she's and very I've seen pretty. her on uh, like her IG and stuff like that. Her hair be looking really good on her IG these days. So keep that up. No, Drew. kudos to her for listening to what we were saying and changing that. That's the so the thing about Drew is like. I never had an issue with her prior to the show. It's like I want to like her, but something about her just is not gelling. It's fake with and phony. Me. And she's corny. I think that's what it is. She's corny too. She's corny and people don't I think people on reality TV sometimes don't understand how easy it is for the viewers to like pick up on whether you're being authentic or not. Like if you're not being real we will likely pick up on it. Even if we can't put our finger on it, we're going to pick up on it. And I think that's Drew's problem. Like, She's trying to play a character when it's just like, be yourself. Just be yourself. And if yourself is boring, then maybe reality TV is for you, sis. I don't know. Do some hosting gigs or something. But um, yeah, <laughs> anyway. So Sonya smokes her in the gym. Um, They're having their conversation off to the side. Drew's husband and Sonya's husband were also with them at the mm, gym, mm, having their conversation on the mm, side. Mm, mm, so mm. Drew tells Sonya. Pause. Sonya's husband's very handsome. But I've been known this. But he looks better with his age. skin is really mm. smooth. Mm. He what? is really handsome. Drop the skincare routine, Jeez. sir. You know men, though. They just be oh, I just wake up and rinse my face. These are the men are the same people who use the same washcloth to wash their butt and their face. And have <laughs> clear skin. Perfect skin. So, I mean. We eat one thing with a drop of oil and all of a sudden you have some It's a planet shit. on my face. So, yeah. But, okay, I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she tells Sonya that Ralph, her husband, who doesn't look as cute this season to me. Yeah, because Ralph was really, even though he's like a liar, um, he, he was really handsome, handsome last I season. think he still is, but I feel like the more I'm knowing his personality, I'm just like, Ugh. Maybe that's what it is. Because Ralph is a handsome guy. He looked a little more like dry or something this season. It's like all he was the tired. Liars sucking him, sucking the life out of him. That's gotta be it. Um, but yeah, he, she tells Sonya that, uh, that Ralph was trying to assist him. Yeah, get write a book. book. Yes, he wants to write a book and he was saying that he needs an assistant, but she found text messages from the assistant saying, Oh, I can give you a massage. I got you whenever you need a massage, I got you or something like that. Then she said she could come to the house and give him a massage. Yeah. Girl, but then I like double the when they're doing like the split screen, so then um Ralph is telling Ross um that oh no, all he did was mention that he wanted an assistant and um Drew the style. We already have a lot. <laughs> so, so my question is, with y'all's track record, because last season y'all had a whole cheating scandal or cheating scandal, Tampa Gate. Why? No, yeah, they went. He went to Tampa last season, but this season she said when she found out about that massage, she packed up and went to Chicago. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's always a new city with you losers, like. I want to say that's actually where she's from. No, it is where she's from, definitely. But I'm just like, every time I get in a fight about a cheat and then y'all are leaving the city, like, what does that say about your marriage? 
so let's break this thing down. First of all, um, why do you need an assistant, Ron, to write a book? First of all, okay, are you the first stepdad in America? Like, we don't need a book about that, no offense. But, you know, whatever you want to write a book, you write a book. I, did you need a, what do they call it, when the, you know how celebrities write a book, but they have the author. They have somebody else write, they just look over it. Yeah, <laughs> they just kind of oversee the, the story. I guess ghost writer would be like the untechnical term in that case. But, but there is something, there is a title for it, I just can't. If that's what you were doing, that'd be one thing. You said assistant. I'm trying to figure out what you need assistance and, with. And you actually haven't even started, so like... You, you haven't know. started writing a book. Secondly, with your track record, allegedly, it seems like your wife doesn't feel the most comfortable with you being around women like that because clearly you have a cheating problem. You should make sure your assistant was just a man. Just to, if you have any sense, just to be like, look, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no problems. Let and then, just... why is she texting you on massage? If it's not work related, y'all shouldn't be texting. First off, if you're in a space where you need an assistant, you can't have a work phone. Yeah, that was another thing. You, you should just have a separate phone for work. And she needs to take, text that phone, and you need to put that phone away when you're with your fam. Like, it needs to be a cutoff time of business hours. And why would she feel, why would a woman feel, feel comfortable, comfortable enough knowing you have a wife? You did something to make her feel comfortable enough. She's still wrong. She's still but she trifling. knows you, and she has to know you. She knows you have a wife and kids. She's trifling. So that means that you, but you made her comfortable enough to even say that. Yeah, like you said that. I mean, you, you, she said that to you. You didn't shut it down right. You should have been like, hey, this is inappropriate. Like, look, I have a wife. I'm not, this This crosses a boundary, something. You sit up there and I'm like, oh, well, I'm a guy. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> That's why I be like, having like, a hard time. What does that thinking. even mean? Like, I'm, you're having a hard time believing because it's like, I be in having what a hard world time is, understanding. Yeah, like, in what world would that be okay? Like, where that would be his explanation, you'd just be like, okay. Yeah, Drew, <laughs> I really want to know. I need to see what, ugh. I wish I was a fly on the wall. Well, they have cameras in the house. Let me see the footage. Yeah, don't y'all have cameras in the house allegedly? Like, I just I just need to understand, Drew, at what point do you know what it is you want out of your marriage? Because if you did this, I promise you Ralph would leave you. If you had a male assistant, especially if he was fine and he was texting you like, yeah, I can come over to the house and work that neck out. <laughs> Sorry. You see how ridiculous that sounds? There is no way in hell Ralph would just be like, yeah, look, we, we can work it's it out. It's because you're a woman. That, that, that's what she would say. Because he was like, I'm a guy. She'd be like, I'm a woman. Yeah, if you would have been like, well, I'm a woman. What, do, <laughs> what does that have to do with What does that mean? mean? Like, yeah, their stuff is just so stupid. Um, So, fast forward to... I'm sorry, I need my notes, y'all. Oh, I did want to say real quick, Um, I like how Sonya told the production like we do not need to talk about the bronze i only mentioned the four gold medals like yes ma'am don't let them try to downplay you downplay your your achievements um <laughs> oh and the bravo editors had me fucking oh like that meme <laughs> and i um the bravo editors had me crying when drew squat down and they were like yeah. it reminded me of can you? When she had opened her, her, her leg, like, yeah. I was like, what kind of? I was like, why are y'all like this? Y'all are too funny. Um. So yeah, Marlo then sends a lady the with a computer. <laughs> Marlo sends an invite to the lady's house. Uh, her execution with these things. I really want to go pick my <laughs> like. It should have been like, uh, I don't know, something, a cute box or yeah, something. Yeah, like a really nice box or, they were like, <laughs> somebody was like, damn, you couldn't at least like a Louis Vuitton case on the laptop. Yeah, like, it's like a regular it was like a Mac or Dell. <laughs> here, here we go. She played a video. I'm like, girl, you could have just sent the video in a group chat and had called that it a girl day. walk around looking stupid. Um, she invites them to see Lay Archive which is her archive of like all the designer stuff she's collected over the years. Um, 
Kenya was kind of like the execution of the invite was just not up to par. But Kenya, you don't always have to say, say everything. everything. That, and then if you and Marlo are starting fresh and supposed to be on a good, on a, starting on a good page, you just shouldn't have said it because now it's going to look like you still being a B word towards her. Mm -hmm. And we know y'all not going to get along. It's not going to last for long and it's going to be for things like this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree. Kenya, yeah, but, yeah. but you ain't got to say it out loud. Um, so now they're at... Okay, they go to Sanya's house, Sonia's house. Her mom looks amazing. Um, they are really, really Jamaican. Uh, and basically, her husband mentions wanting a daughter. Um, and she's kind of like, well, you know, I do want one too. But she kind of reminds him, like, I felt alone. I felt like I didn't have much help from you when I, you know our son was born i guess he might not agree with that the son ends up coming down and asking his dad to help him with something so her and her mom are like talking about it and the dad her dad is like yeah no have another kid you know i'll help you and they were just like <laughs> what, what, you, please? what you gonna do he's like, i'll make the formula so yeah the mom was just like look i mean if you feel like it wasn't you didn't have the help you needed the first time then it's no pressure to have another kid i'm kind of with the mom i feel like you need to make sure y'all are on the same same page before y'all have another kid yeah she pretty much is telling her husband like i don't want us having another kid to put a strain on us because the first time it was like you know we almost didn't make it and he's like well what if you don't have another kid? Maybe that'll put a strain. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, like you're not, you can't guilt somebody into having a child or scare them. Like, I'll leave you if you don't have a kid. Like, you can't do stuff, especially when you're not the even with active dad. I still feel like it's more responsibility on the mom. She carries the baby. She has to be. Yes, yeah, she has to be want to be pregnant, have baby. And when all else fails, this always they're always gonna look to the look to the mom to be like the primary exactly. parent. So. The responsibility is still going to be on her. So it, she has to be fully comfortable with it. And knowing, well, she says she wants another kid, but she has to know that You're her gonna husband is going to the way she yeah, wants the one that she wants. So that is something that they need to really talk about before getting pregnant. And But she's also, you know, in her later 30s. So they kind of need to come to a conclusion pretty quickly. Soon. I mean, medicine has evolved, but still, like, you know. Yeah. yeah, hopefully within the next couple of years, years they, they can, can decide figure it out. they want to have another one or not. I was telling Chama this reminded me of the uh, the tension between Juan and Robin Dixon from Housewives of Potomac because you know Juan is like I want a daughter, I want a daughter, I want a daughter, and Robin is just like hesitant because she felt like Juan wasn't really around when the first two boys were you know young and she felt like she had to do a lot of the raising by herself. And like I, I said to Choma when we talked about this yesterday, I just feel like men kind of have to understand that that decision will be mostly the woman's. Like, it's her body, it's her womb. You're not the one that's getting pregnant and having to carry the baby to term. Like, if she doesn't feel 100% comfortable with it, you're going to either need to talk about other options or y'all might need to settle on not having any more kids. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, next scene is Drew's house. Girl, let's take this away. <laughs> Cause she just got to lying. Um, I'm sorry. What happened? I'm sorry. I be tuning out when Drew's talking. I do too, kind of. <laughs> um, she invited them over to taste like her meal prep for her. I guess this is the drop it with Drew thing. Oh my god! See that? That really just went over my head. That food looked like it probably tasted good, but it was just a little too damn small. I'm like, girl, this is a snack. Um, this is snack prep, not meal prep. Well, I'm crying because Candy was like, I mean, you still. <laughs> Candy was not shaming her, but she was like, because Drew's talking about she's I like mean, a skinny. True and... though. Drew's talking about she's she's a skinny mini, and Candy's like, um, but you still thick. I'm like. like... She, uh, first of all, the, whoever it was that answered the door, why were you, why are you doing all that? Um, her assistant or whatever, yeah. he was doing team too much. It was uncomfortable. Oh, Candy, Big Candy, come on in, welcome, Big Candy. She was like, okay. And, like, was, and okay, what? You said, okay. That's how she talked. <laughs> she said, okay. Boy, Drew probably told 
told him to do that because the camera's there because like, she's so, so weird. She told me, oh, okay, yeah. It was so awkward. I was like, okay. Um, yeah, so <laughs> they're like, she's like explaining the meal prep to them, and that's when she mentioned the whole, yeah, you know, so I'm the face of the whatever, whatever, and actually I was eating this and doing the drop it with Drew, and I lost 25 pounds in three weeks. I'm like, did, did you get the pounds wrong or did you get the weeks wrong? Like, did you mean, mean something is wrong something here? Something is wrong. Did you mean to say 25 pounds in like 12 weeks or something like that? Or did you mean to say 10 pounds in three weeks? Because you know the producers are going to put you on blast, which they did. And even in the before and after that they shot, I, I still couldn't really see the difference. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And she said she got a, a mommy makeover when she went under for the hysterectomy. Yeah, like her body doesn't give me she got it done at all. So I'm very like, I need to see her medical records. I need to know what you <laughs> consider mommy makeover. Because I thought that was like breast, stomach. Yeah, breast and stomach. That's really it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So Candy in her confessional, I think she was like, mm, she's still thick. <laughs> like, girl, yeah, like you still thick. I don't know if the, being the face for this whole thing is going to work, but you know, God bless. Um, Maybe her by this morphia works opposite. Yeah. Like how we look in the mirror, oh my God, I look big. Maybe she looks in the mirror like, oh, I'm snatched. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Hey. So, um, sorry, I have to take a little break. So yeah, Ralph pops in as the girls are talking about his assistant. And I promise you, like, it really does seem sometimes like Candy is the only person on the show with some damn sense. Because as soon as Drew was like, yeah, the assistant texted him, like, I can come over to the house and give you a massage. She was just like, oh, what? hell no. <laughs> Ain't nobody texting my man saying they gonna give him a massage. And even the way Drew delivered it was kind of like, it's not that bad, right? Oh. This Drew wants to give me. She wasn't my problem child this season. <laughs> like, girl. Um. So Ralph pops in like a creep, like because he has cameras in the house. Oh, that's probably yeah. yeah. He pops up. I know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, like, why are you here? Like, why are you in women's business? Yeah, why are you in women's business, <laughs> loser? Um. And then he's like, all right, yeah, give it to me. What version did you tell them? And Drew was just like. And Candy just got straight to the questions. Like, you think it's okay? Let me do her voice. You think it's okay to have her to <laughs> your phone? And he was just like, what? what? Huh? No. Like, she was just trying. Because I was having back problems. Drew knows about it. And Drew was like, I didn't know. Nothing about no. <laughs> no. Back problems. And then if you were, yeah. So why didn't you your wife to massage you? Or why don't you get a professional? Go to a masseuse. I was saying. If y'all are talking about a book. Oh, like, <laughs> I told you. Pretty <laughs> What in the Deshaun Watson is going on? Listen, like, listen. You want a massage, but you won't go to a real masseuse. You like, don't get some IG, IG masseuse and training, if even. Man, yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, so he's just stuttering and <laughs> well, lying. <laughs> Child, they asked him all these questions, like basically, like, do you think that's okay? And why does she, you know, feel comfortable texting your phone and blah blah blah? He didn't have a. A pro I mean, there is no proper answer for anything. There is nothing that makes sense. Nothing he says can make sense except I'm wrong. Pretty much. I mean, they pretty much in that conversation with Candy just being like, this mm -hmm. is crazy. Okay. Which is, this is also, fine. I find it very weird, like, when couples start arguing in front of me, like, please, can you wait till I go home? Like, this is really awkward. You just sit there sipping your drink like, Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. Um, so then we get to the final scene of the show, which is the big event, Marlo's um fashion, fashion presentation. I think it should have been a fashion show. I think that would have made more, more sense. sense. I I see I see her vision. I don't think she executed it that well. But you know what? It just came to me right now. I think what she could have done. What Marlo, if you use this idea, if you haven't already, I don't know. Y'all need to, you know, run us our coins. But I think what she should have done was something like the Trap Museum in Atlanta. 
but let, let that be lay archive where people can actually come and look at some of her pieces behind a glass because you know how to be out there um behind a thick glass and it'll have like the descriptions or like little videos to show like how it looks how on. yeah like oh yeah like on some of the clothes websites where you can click a video and it'll show them on the runway with it actually yes. on. and she said like foxy brown had worn one of the things like maybe you could have like a clip of where, whatever a picture of video. Foxy Brown in it, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, and it could be like little digital screens next to it, or some of them could just have, you know, a paper description or whatever. But if you pay forty thousand dollars for this, yeah, I'm no. confused. That could be a way for you to get constant money, like a literal museum. And especially when tourists come down to Atlanta, they they'll want to go to the the archive. Let me see these clothes or whatever. But I think for this event, you should have had models modeling the clothes because. And everyone was just standing around, like not knowing, well, like what to not do. what we're doing, and like um, I agree with everything Kenya said again. But I was just like, you ain't gotta go so hard. Yeah, just keep it to yourself, you know. Cause look, you tell him you running your mouth, and you running your mouth in front of Sheree, out of all people. Side note, I just did not like Sheree's dress. Um, I never liked the way she dresses ever. Like, it just did not fit the vibe at all. Sheree can't dress. So yeah, that's why she sells joggers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Kenya looks really good though. Mm-hmm. Um, they're pretty much just all talking about the event, and giving their criticism, which is confusing because nobody asked. Um, and Sheree's just sucking all the information up. Even though she did have a couple things, like slight shady things to say, she never mentions her own stuff. Mm-hmm. She always she just let every, she just wants to be running to go running to that. Mm-hmm um marlo did look really good um <laughs> sheree did have me laughing when she compared the dress to like the strawberry candy that your yeah, like, grandma grandma would give you at church it did look like that when the uh editors put it side by side but i still actually really like the dress i thought she looked good um sonya don't let sheree start getting you in trouble yes, please stay away from sheree because y'all was quick to go and tell marlo what they were saying but y'all didn't mention that y'all all had something to say exactly so yeah I, that, that was just tacky to me um was tacky was messy no and candy said somebody like i mean i'm five four and uh she gonna say she's, she's six ten. and i did not even know candy was five four she said five three or five three yeah she i thought like like she was smaller. shorter that's what I, because i feel like She's way shorter than me, and I'm five four. I thought Candy was oh. like five one. Yeah, yeah, four eleven. And then t- Tiny was Tiny's four eleven. Yeah. Um. But yeah, of course, Marlo comes over to address it immediately. I kind of was on Marlo's side with this because it's like, damn, yeah, my big talking, talking stuff. Like, yeah, it's like, or y'all can't wait till after the event. Like, y'all, y'all look like haters being there. It was giving hater vibes for sure. It. So, yeah, she's like, so she, really, she focuses her anger on Drew at first, which is very weird because Drew really didn't say much. True. Drew be, see, that's a, Drew, you gotta learn how to stand up for yourself, even if you know. It always takes her, like, a bad, it takes her a while to say, it's, she's not quick with it. You need to kind of, I, I understand not being super quick with it, but you need to at least be like, girl, you need to relax. Don't be talking to me like that. Something. Something. It's just like, oh, it's just always like, oh, me? That we're really doing that, Marlo? Marlo, girl, if you don't. Yeah, Marlo makes a joke about like how Drew ain't booked nothing. And um, she was just like, oh, girl, but I'm just joking. That's not a joke. It's not funny. I like, like I wouldn't have, joke. yeah, I don't, I wouldn't have took kind to that. And like I said, Drew might not have, I ain't seen Drew in nothing since the game. So she might not have booked things, or maybe she has, but she still has. A longer resume than Marlo, cause like we know what she does. Yes. What do you do? So that's what I, Drew could have really read her down, like. But at least I have a career. Like, yeah. what do you have? So yeah, um, and she could have been like, I'm still getting what is that? The residuals, Res- yeah, off of the game. What are you doing, like, girl? She don't be having nothing. Just be sitting there looking confused. Yeah, um, I mean that pretty much wraps up the episode, guys. Marlo pretty much caught them out. Like, why are y'all talking smack about my event? 
Um, Candy, I was glad Candy spoke up and was like, I mean, everybody had questions, including the two that came to talk to you because. Yeah, y'all not about to go over there and make it look like y'all didn't say anything. Anything. Oh, wait, no, but Candy, didn't Candy find the IG of the masseuse? Oh, yeah. And she was like, oh, sh- I, think, I think she's so tweeting you. <laughs> and uh, what did she say? And then uh, Drew was like, oh, you think she's talking about me? <sighs> to whom it may concern, if I want to, I will, if I wanted to, or something like that. And besides, who even tweets? Who even posts something like that? I think this side chick needs a life, first of all, or the masseuse, the assistant, whatever she. She needs a life. Drew, you need a help. Like, <laughs> you need help. You need help. Are you the Tin Man? Like, is there anything? It's just beans up there. Beans rolling around. Child, yes. I mean, that's the. Drew, I'm not letting Drew and Ralph upset me this season. Y'all mark my words. I'm just going to try to keep it here with them. They're not going to upset me. It's going to be a lot of... <sighs> a lot of deep fine. Because, yeah. But y'all... That's, that's, all, that's all that was to the episode. Y'all be sure to tune in and let us know your opinion in the comments. We want to know how you feel about Marlo getting the peach. Mm-hmm. Whether you believe Drew and Ralph's storyline. <laughs> and what you thought about the Lay Archive event. Side note, yes, uh, Sonia, I was thinking the same thing because I was like, I studied French for like a year and I learned the basics. And I was like, I thought when you put an apostrophe, it's no E after the L, but I thought it was tripping. So I was so glad she said that. But yeah, drop a comment and subscribe if you haven't. Like this video and we'll catch you on the next review. Peace. Bye.